Introducing our new Ursa pouch. It's a low profile, stretchy pouch for transmitters. We do them in two colors and four sizes. Uh, so we do a mini size here for an SSM, small size for an SMB and a PDR, medium size for an SMDB, Zach's Common WYSICOM, and a large size for EW Sennheisers and larger transmitters. So basically, they're really handy for rigging onto belts, pinning into costumes, putting into cars and plant mics. I'm just going to demonstrate to you now some of the uses. So we've got an SMDB here, and what you do is you put it sideways into the pouch like that, put your thumb there and stretch it open. So it's designed to hold firmly into the pouch. You can see I'm just giving it a wiggle securely in place. And it's got these two little belt loops on either side. So I'll show you how all that's all about. So basically, if you get a little belt, put it like that, you can put that then against a costume like this, or you can turn it over and put it like this. And one of the cool things about this pouch is that when you've got the belt loop like that, you've also got an exposed pouch on the other side. So if I plug in the cable, just like this, I can then use that as a cable pocket, like on our straps. So I'll just tuck in a little bit of cable there, put that in. And that is just a nice way of containing the unit all in one place. And just to demonstrate, I'm wearing one of these right now. So I'll just show you. So it's uh, back here. And that's the pouch. That's a black pouch. That's horizontal on my belt. And I'm using, I'm tucked in some cable around the back there as well. And it's just comfortable and convenient. And I would really recommend thinking about this as a position if an artist is wearing a belt. You can definitely do a lot of action running about and it would be securely in place. Um, so I'll just demonstrate to you some other little things you can do. So. This is a belt which we've put some safety pins on the top and you can use these safety pins, pin them into say a robe or a costume which doesn't have a pocket and then that can then be pinned to the side and you can still wire someone up where otherwise you might not be able to use a strap. Um, and also what you can do is you can use a cable tie to rig the transmitters in pouches in any position, in a car or on some prop, so to use a radio mic as a plant mic. So I'll just demonstrate that quickly with a Zaxcom. So I'll just put that in one of our medium-sized pouches. Put that in there, so put the cable tie around like that. So if I was in a car and I was using a plant mic in a car, I would then maybe hook that onto a, one of the uh, hand holders in a car, and that would give me some nice light protection for a transmitter, and also just let me plant a mic where I want to put it, other than, well, whereas in the past you might just gaffer tape it to something. So it's useful for that, but also it has a uh, rather unconventional use, which I think other pe people could use a bit more, which is putting the pack on the back of a bra. So the beige pouch really lends to being used on a bra. And there it is. This has got an SSM inside, the smallest transmitter. So we've used this in the past. It's been a very effective way of planting a microphone on a lady's back uh, where they're wearing a very tight dress and where otherwise you might not be able to put a transmitter. So yeah, I hope that's been a useful little demonstration of some ways to use the new Ursa pouch. Thank you.